Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about Bitbucket integrated with VS Code. So to integrate this one, uh, we have to install the kit on our local machine along with VS Code. Okay. Currently uh, in my system, Git already installed. To check whether Git is installed or not, this if you able to see Git UI, Git Bash here. So you should be able to confirm. So if you once install the Git on your machine, so if you check git version so it should be means uh, you are able to install git version and it is running successfully so currently vs code uh, vs code is doesn't have installed on my machine so to install vs code so before uh, downloading the vs code let's see what, what is vs code okay vs code is a, like a visual studio code uh, it is a source code editor like uh, we have ie site uh, integrated development uh, editor so same like vs code is also it's the editor to support uh, development operations like uh, debugging and uh, running the task and version control. it will be supported uh, multiple plugins uh, so you can e easily able to edit that so why why we are going to be integrated means uh, so basically we will use uh, git gui most of the time right uh, to clone the code and uh, to fetch the changes uh, to pull the changes and, uh, so instead of uh, using git bash here directly we can integrate with uh, vs code so let's get uh, let's do download the vs code vs code download so when you click this one right so it will be showing according to your uh, os you can download Mine is Windows. Let me download this one. It should be executable file. So it is downloaded. So I am accepting just click double click so you were able to install the successfully on your uh, machine okay so this is the vs code so first thing uh, all when you install the vs code by default it will come to, uh, integrated with the uh, source code that is git okay to check that one if you go here uh, if you have installed git on your uh, local machine by default it will be fake to check that one just git iphone iphone version it will show you the version okay so it will be supported uh, powershell and uh, differential like uh, shell script everything should be uh, able to see this this means uh, this is the extension so if you want to add a plugins so if you want to add a kubernetes related uh, plugins uh, docker related plugins so when you type uh, it should be automatically give the suggestions you can install the aws related python related java related so all the related plugins you can able to install suppose i need to git related uh, plugins just uh, do git so git lens so this will be helpful uh, so if you try to make any line of the already git tracked files it will show you that the particular lens already um, who enabled that one like that we can able to see so there are uh, multiple plugins if you type um, any related to git plugin suppose if you need uh, aws related plugins so aws uh, cli it will come and uh, python related aws code deploy so default plugins will be suggested we need kubernetes related plugins okay and uh, docker related plugins it will come See, docker if you install the docker 
you will be able to get so docker related plugins you will be able to get now when you install the when you install the these plugins so you just need to configure uh, to integrate uh, bitbucket with uh, vs code just go to con settings and just check git so there is one check you just need to be configured that is git enabled So those things you have to be enabled git. Yeah, git enabled. This you have to check. Make sure this should be enabled. Okay. So this is the first step you have to do. So once that is done, you just need to clone the repository. So from uh, basically we will use git clone right to clone the code from the bit bucket. So here we can directly clone the repository from here um, if you go to this uh, explorer so there is an option to clone the repository otherwise if you go to view command palette if you type type git clone so it will be asked it will ask the url of your repository let me provide my bitbucket url so let me clone this repository I don't need to git clone directly I can give you HTTPS URL you can do any ways both the ways so it will ask the select the repository where you want it to clone this repository so under this let me just code demo I'm selecting the repository location it is cloning so it will be asking yes I'm able to open that one so now my repository is coming repository under uh, this one so currently I am into the uh, to see the list of branches this is the option so currently we have uh, this many branches to check out the branches uh, to check out another branch there is an option to show you so these are the branches currently we have develop branch master branch only uh, so if you want to switch the develop branch you can able to switch the develop branch in the develop branch these are the files suppose if you try to make any file so you can able to see see uh, if you add git lens right you can able to see in this uh, one who made the change when they made the change okay suppose i have uh, add something so if you try to save so if you type right automatically it will be able to see in the explorer it is unsaved one okay so if you try to save it should be coming here in the source code uh, source controller so if you go to source controller uh, basically we will add if you try to make any changes it should be in working area so in working area we will use uh, git commit uh, git add and file name and uh, commit message right so here we will uh, add the messages add a new line and file to so I'm giving commit message so here M means it is modified file okay so once this this is the staged file if you this symbol means uh, it should be discarded if you don't want to add the changes if you click this one it will be discarded. are you sure want to discard the, the changes if you want to discard it should gone the changes if 
you want to add again you can add it should be updated and uh, you can able to see here so this is the commit message you just need to commit or you just need to to add the stage you just need to click this symbol okay once added to the staging area so you just need to able to okay now you are able to commit at those changes you see file if you try to push the changes there is a option here only uh, you need to go to source control there there are three dashes if you try to push you can able to push those changes to the remote repositories otherwise there is a up and arrow symbols right it will be push automatically do you like to push periodically no, later if you go to the source port or if you go to the your branch See the change has been pushed to one minute ago, a two dot sh. Okay, like this uh, we can able to. If you try to add another file, so if you need those change, suppose in one dot sh. I added the change, and I have committed uh, from the remote repository itself. So currently this change in uh, remote repository to get that one you just need to use git pull okay. you just need to do uh, select this option more option just if you do git pull it will pull the changes So if you go to explorer in one dot sh action pull and push will be yes. If you selected this one, it will be pull the changes from the remote repository. The change which we made in uh, on that SH, let me refresh. I think we did not uh, commit it properly, that is the reason. So let me edit the uh, updated 12 now you can able to see this change in the source code if you go to develop branch i have modified uh, 
1.sh 14 seconds ago so the commit should be added now if you refresh if you do git pull go here and if you try to do git pull need to pull the changes see now the change has been come so you can do at a time uh, in the command line also like uh, in git pull it will pull the changes in the terminal also you can uh, type the commands you can use uh, both the way so if you need to do if you want to check where is which branch we are in currently we are into develop branch so we can create a branches also to create a branches the command is uh, you can go here or uh, uh, to create a new branch the branch name is suppose suppose i am creating test 1 to 3 branch branch name is test 1 to 3 so you can uh, just type and enter so it should be created test 1 to 3 branch and it should be automatically switched to the that branch so if you try to create a new file there is a option just uh, you can do 4.sh if you try to type this one right it is saying you means uh, untracked files currently this file is uh, doesn't track by the git okay you just need to add those file so for that one you just need to add something in the file file for created newly for particular branch uh, we are created this now you just need to go you can save these changes once you have changed there is a u you just need to mention the message created new file for so it will ask uh, if you try to commit it directly it will ask to unsave changes include the committed protected on that message just uh, save all the commits now this one when you discard this is the option when you open the file it should be able to open and uh, if you stage this change just add a means added for that sh it should be added now stage the changes file 4 now it should be added there if you want to push this one just uh, get there is option to push the br test brown to 3 is uh, not upstream would you like to push the branch yes so currently this branch is created in the local uh, so we are trying to push this branch now if you go here uh, in the remote repository if you go to source if you see the branches you can able to see test one two three branch so now uh, you can raise a pull request uh, to merge your changes so create a pull request from test one two three to uh, develop branch if you want to merge the changes to those change just uh, create a pull request and uh, add your reviewers and ask and approve the and merge the changes so once you are able to create the pull request so if you want to approve approve and if you want to match match the changes currently i don't have any reviewers uh, so that i can able to match so this uh, four dot file also now it should be get is tracked if you try to make any change on 4.sh file or 1.sh file if you try to make 
so it should be modified now if you click double click on this one so it will be able to see uh, which what you modified on this one so it will be able to see uh, the differences in the side by side so which line you have modified so if you want to discard the change just click on this discard the change and this is the previous change and uh, this is the new change so with uh, this visual studio code you can uh, do uh, it easily to manage your git and uh, bit bucket so i am discarding this change so let's conclude what we have done we have installed the git uh, we already shown how to install the git if it does okay. anyone knows just go to google and uh, git install so once install the git uh, so if you are using your windows just uh, click this one windows if you are using uh, mac or linux just just click on this links and it will give you the steps so just to follow that one if it is m install git it should be able to install on linux so once you have installed you just need to configure uh, your username and pass uh, email address so that uh, if you make modify those files uh, so we can able to see someone who made the change so git need to know uh, who edited that file so for that one you just need to configure the username and email address so after that you just need to install the vgs code i have shown you how to install the vs code and the git enable you just need to check and git lens you just need to see and uh, how to configure credentials credentials uh, there is option uh, git config ipan ipan uh, global and username those things uh, we have already shown you so if you are using the first time just you just need to type uh, git config uh, username just using this one git config uh, iphone iphone global user dot name and uh, your name you just need to provide same like uh, email user dot email just you just need to pro give the email so these things you just need to give in my case already i have provided uh, my username and email address and uh, now we have seen how to clone the repository, how to create the branch, how to raise a pull request and uh, how to, if you want to switch the branch so there is option uh, to check out a branch so directly you can do which branch you wanted to check out if you want to check out switch to the master you can able to switch the master so these are the updated uh, in master branch if you need to get anything you can able to get those things automatically okay that's all about in this session uh, thanks for watching so so visual studio code is uh, mostly everyone will use so there is a lot of options in commits if you want to see the commits if you want to see the file history uh, if you want to see the branches list of branches and uh, remote branches uh, stashes tags currently i have two tags on that branch when you try to clone uh, you will get all the information related that one so that's all about uh, the session thanks thanks for watching